think I was born to be a hairdresser. And in a way, I'm glad. I was born in Lebanon. So I was very lucky I got my mother's tenacity, but I got my father's hands. My father was very creative. I was winding perms when I was six and cleaning the rods and winding up and mixing the tint and mixing the color. So uh, at the end of the day, I remember how much tips I got. I said, look, Dad, look how much money I got. He said, where did you get that from? I said, from the people. I don't think he believed me, but he said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It's working. And that's how I really became a hairdresser. That's how I started becoming a hairdresser. I was 17 when I owned my first salary, and I wasn't old enough to run a shop because I was an apprentice. So I had to hire a senior person to be my boss. <laughs> and after about a year, in 1920, I, I st still to this day, I don't know how I had the wisdom and the vision to find Queensland. That's a bit that blows me away. And that was probably the beginning of my world as you know it today. So I take the shop and I do it up and leather chairs and fancy German hair dryers and three months later I've got this beautiful shop empty and I thought this is not good. So I got some butcher paper, stuck it on the window and put on their free haircuts. And everybody was drawn to the free haircuts. Why free haircuts? I said I just want you to see how good we are. Well, six weeks later we were fully booked. I realised then you have to be competitive. So that was the biggest lesson of my life in Maribor. I was probably two weeks away from cut into the line. Now the longest hairdressing company in the history of Australia. People don't realise how complicated it was to get tradespeople. Then I said, you know, this is ridiculous. So I started training and it grew. If it wasn't for our investment we put into training, it wouldn't have lasted either. One of the hardest things in the world is to make a name for yourself. But the actual hardest thing in the world is to keep that name going. And you can't keep that name going if it's not respected. You know, I started 100% money back guarantee long before it was fashionable, long before it was legal. I started that 50 years ago. And people would say, aren't you crazy? You'll go broke if you give people their money back. I said, actually, you got it the other way around. You'll go broke if you're taking money from people and they're not happy. I said, for me, anyone that's not happy, not only I'm happy to give them their money back, but keep redoing it till our eyes beam so they can trust us. People often ask me, what's your journey like? And I see it so clearly. It sort of feels, 60 years feels like a month. So vivid. I have an incredible team of people around me, incredible. I can't tell you how proud and privileged and blessed I am. So my, my journey is to be where I need to be for who needs me.